Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! Continuing playing as the opponents for this duel. I will be choosing... Um, I'll choose my six samurai. I don't know, I just... This character I'm playing as right now... I found it so weird that he's wearing a shower curtain as a cape. I I can't I could I can't be the only one who thought who was thinking of that when I first saw this character. Okay, I'm going first. I activate Gateway of the Six. Now I summon Legendary Six Samurai Shingo. Two counters. Then I special summon Legendary Six Samurai, Kizun. And now I activate the Gateway of the Six, this effect, by re removing all four counters. I can take one monster, add it straight to my hand. And that'll end my turn. I activate Suffer Samurai Storm. <clears throat> Why, well, Lou? My kitty came to say hi to me. All right. Nice. I activate Temple of the Six. Now I summon Kijo of the Six Samurai. Now I perform a synchro summoning. Hello, that's a kitty. I don't know if you can hear, but he's purring. Mm. Yes, who's a cute kitty? Yes, you are. All right, now I can activate my gateway's first choice effect. I can remove two counters and give my monster a 500 point boost. Not my legendary. A six samurai attacks your dragon. And that'll end my turn. Alright. I'll place one card face down. Then I'll summon six samurai. Zico. Zig. Zigan. Zig. Zig. Can't say the name. I'm just bad bit. All right, now I activate the second option. Now I take one six samurai monster and add it straight to my hand. Now, time for an attack. Nice. I activate my trap card. My, my strike trap card. Or, uh, yeah, my armor. Oh, boy. No, you don't. Activate my Synchro Monster's ability, negating your Call of the Haunted. Thanks to my Trap card, I can summon a Six Samurai Monster straight to the field. 
Now I summon another copy of the same one. Hello. Now I activate gateway of the six. Now I can take one six samurai card. Alright, this was a quick duel. Alright, Jack is defeated. Now we gotta go up against Jack again. This time, though, we're gonna choose... Um... Yeah, let's... Let's, let's try the Kaiju deck. I'll go second. I'll say this for later. I activate the spell card, the Kaiju Files. Now, I special summon by sacrificing your tr Tricky, so I can summon in the Kai, the Sea, E Turtle, O Kaiju, and now I can summon my. I mad flame in kaiju. I'll place one card face down. And now my kaiju will attack. I'll end my turn. No, you don't. Mirror Force. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This monster relies on counters. Alright, I summon back my Kaiju. And now I will attack. Select one monster to special summon. Okay. I will choose... And I can special summon another copy of Flamer. I'll end my turn. Um, okay. That's weird. Ugh. I wanted to use my kaijus against this guy. Against Jack. So far he's not letting me... I guess I'll have to use this. Kaiju Slumber. All monsters on the field are destroyed. I'll summon another sea turtle. 
And for my opponent's side, oh crap. I made a boo-boo. I made a big boo-boo. Oh, that's better. I fixed my boo-boo. Now my thunder king will attack. Now my thunder, her king will attack. This time directly. Yeah, I think I'll just let my Thunder King attack. Sacrifice your Tricky. I can summon my Moth Mothra. Now I can summon another Kaiju to the field. This time on my side of the field. And I'll end my turn. And now they... Now, Mike, I do have Destruction, Star Destroyer, will attack. And... Nice. I sacrifice one face down. Summon another copy of Thunder Dragon. Then I'll activate Owner Seal. Oh, that's right. I can only have one Kaiju on the field. Mm. Oh well, at least it helps me get rid of some monsters on his side of the field. Star Destroyer. Wing. Wing Kaiju will attack. Attack directly. That takes care of this duel. And now finally I will use my shadow deck. I activate Melody of the Waking Dragon. I send one monster to my graveyard. Now I can take two Diabolos cards and add them straight to my hand. Then I will summon Dark Resonator. Dark Resonator will attack. That'll end my turn. this oh, 
I summon Mad Archfiend. Mad Archfiend will attack. Well, shoot. Well, I'll just do this. Swords of Revealing Light. And that'll end my turn. I place one monster face down, then I'll activate Raigeki. All right. I flip up my jar card. Then I'll end my turn. Shoot. That's fine. I sacrifice my jar so I can summon Legendary Fiend. Then I'll place one card face down. Legendary Fiend will attack. Oh, it's a good thing my monster was a little weak. No, I'm not going to activate the card. I summon Chaos and Master. Chaos and Master will attack. Now Legendary Fiend will attack as well. Okay, why didn't he activate that card? Oh boy. Why didn't he activate that card to protect his monster? Doesn't matter, my legendary fiend will just get more powerful. Now my monsters will attack. Ah. Oh no, I'm not letting that happen again. I activate a destruction potion. Now I select one monster I control, destroy it, and its attack points become my life points. Now I activate the field spell layer of darkness. Now my chaos master now my chaos will attack. Finally, I activate Dark Bribe. And that'll end my turn. I activate Dark Hole. Then I'll place one card face down. And unfortunately, that's all I can do.
I activate my crush card. Thanks to my Layer of Darkness card, I can tribute one monster on my opponent's side of the field. Now I can summon a token on your side of the field. I place one card face down. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. Uh-oh. I activate Call of the Haunted. And I choose Dark Rebellion. Thanks to my monster's ability, it can survive an attack. Nice. I switch my Dark Rebellion to defense mode, then I summon Lilith. Now I activate her ability by tributing one monster on the field. I can select three trap cards from my deck. Then my opponent gets to choose one. Whatever my opponent chooses, it goes onto the field. The rest go to stay in the deck and then I have to reshuffle and then I'll end my turn and I get a token I activate Lilith's ability once again sacrificing any junk synchro oh blast I activate Foolish Burial. Now I send Plague Zombie to the graveyard. Now I activate Plague Zombie's effect. By taking one card and putting it back on the top of my deck, I can summon it back to the field. Now I link summon using all three of my monsters to summon Bilza. Uh. Now Bilza will attack the, attack the monster. I get another token. Right. I think I'll do this. I sacrifice Rebellion and and my Shadow Monster 
for my token in order to summon Diabolus Dragon. And that'll end my turn. Now I'll get not one, but two tokens. Quillbolt Hedgehog. I activate my Diabolus Dragon's ability, sending Cobalt, tributing Quillbolt Hedgehog, and forcing you to put one card back in your deck. And now I sacrifice my tokens to summon another Diabolus Dragon. I think I will summon this guy, number 22, Zombie Stein. Haven't summoned him in a while. Then I'll put one card face down. Now my dragon, now my monsters will attack. Okay. Place one card face to home. I'll switch my tokens to attack mode. Now my tokens will attack. Yep, now Stombie's time will finish this duel. Nice. Well, we got three more, then Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D will be done. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All Night Gamer Guy, out.